Welcome to the No. I'm Meg Turney, and Nintendo is taking a page out of 70s rock group Player's Book and saying, baby, come back, to all those who've been burned by the Amiibo train. I just wanted to work that song in. It's been stuck in my head. In a statement issued today, the gaming giant acknowledged that finding some Amiibo has been well, kind of sucky for a lot of people and promise to make it all better in the future. The statement reads in part, We're trying to meet the demands of our fans and consumers by increasing the amount of Amiibo we manufacture and ship to retail. We may continue to see consumer demand outpace supply levels for certain characters at times, but we will do our best to prevent that from happening. Which, I mean, makes sense, really, if you think about it, because if you can't find the figurines, you're not going to give up that sweet, sweet cash to Nintendo. They also announced that they plan to bring back some figures that have flown off store shelves, writing, We are constantly looking for the opportunity to reissue Amiibo and are already making plans to bring back some currently out of stock Amiibo figures. So hey, if you missed out on a particular figurine, you might soon get a second chance to continue to shower Nintendo with your cold hard cash and do some bottle rolls. Now there's several reasons why some Amiibo have been hard to find here in the US. The first is the ongoing labor dispute at the Los Angeles and Long Beach ports. Basically without getting too far into it, it's been going on for a really long time, like almost a year now, and has affected a ton of businesses, considering that those ports handle about 40% of all US imports. That's a pretty big deal. And it's not Nintendo's fault, really, at all. But if your average Amiibo fan can't find a Toad Amiibo, they're not going to direct their anger at a port, they're going to be mad at Nintendo. Not fair, but it's true. The other big issue at play here is Nintendo. I mean, it seems pretty obvious that they had no clue that people were going to latch onto the Amiibo teat like they have. I mean, they even directly acknowledged that in the statement, writing, We appreciate the enthusiasm that our fans continue to show toward Amiibo. Sales for the product have exceeded our expectations. We understand how frustrating it can be at times if consumers are unable to find certain figures, and we apologize for that. And in between the lines, they're having a little money party. So what do you guys think? Are you happy to hear we're getting more Amiibo on store shelves? Or could you just not care at all about this whole situation? And are you completely over Amiibo? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be in the on this show. Heart you!